live officially, but we will be starting the podcast. Everyone that's just joined us will be right with you guys all in exactly seven minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, and then we'll get started. So we're just going to run and get coffee and wait for everybody to pile on oh, in. Oh, yeah. So we'll be right back, guys. So we'll be officially live in eight minutes with Lady Beard. Hello, it's Lady Beard. Looking uh, forward to talking to you in exactly eight minutes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, eight minutes. Energy, man. <laughs> well, you guys thought I had energy. <laughs> <laughs> can the people already hear the talking? They can hear the talking. <laughs> they can, oh, they can the hear people. you. <laughs> Yes, hello, people. How are you? Hello, the, the humans watching the internet voice source. Nice to talk to you all. Yeah, even the non-humans, all you guys. Anybody? Yeah. Anybody that's got ears right now? Yeah, that'll yeah. be a Pomeranian. Yeah, okay, Pomeranian. one or two of those. Potentially, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I just, uh, I just have noticed something on this stream. The starting stuff. trailer <laughs> and then it's just going to come back again um i have actually noticed i must say um uh the gaijin guys for japan music actually that features two grammatical errors oh well let's hear about this number one it, sh it shouldn't be japanese music just to uh just to specify that is an adjective my friends and uh, to that extent, it really should describe the noun music. So I would be expecting Japanese music. And also, the number four is uh, it, the number four is actually not uh, an F O R. It's uh, it's not a um. What do you call one of those? A conjunction? It's not a conjunction. It's a um. Hey, just, listen to me now. Hey, I just walk I'll translate into. it to Japanese. Amosa, guys, guys, ongaku stream ga mamonaku hajimarimas. Gaijin guys, ga, oh, ga, Nihon no ongaku, no koto, harase. Wow. I need to he talk to you. Can I talk to you every seen. morning? Can we just talk every morning? I just need you to talk to me in the morning to get me pumped up for the day. <laughs> I'll talk to you anytime you need me, my friend. Lady Beard's here for you always. Yeah, I I'm not, I'm not going to lie, Mr. Beard. That was definitely the coolest the name of our channel has ever sounded coming out of your mouth right there. Yeah, has anyone else um has ever said your name in a funny way? No. <sighs> Well, except uh, us we're, accidentally. We're going to need to get that introduction when we go <laughs> live with our faces. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll do it. I'll do it with a, a, like a, a Japanese TV face as well. Yeah. <laughs> you got one of those? <laughs> oh, I ever. I ever. Uh, you can't be on Japanese TV with a regular face. That's very important. Oh. joke because there's four of you oh i understand <laughs> you. Oh, the number four was inserted into sort of where that conjunction should have been see so maybe we were beyond regular grammar that's what was I actually was going on we're, we're a level grammar. up <laughs> well, i was actually um i was actually shocked that everybody showed up this morning i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Wait, I'm pumped. Thanks for showing up, friends. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. Woo! Yeah, thanks for being here. I got a very convenient time. It's 6 p.m. for me. I'm at the peak of the day. This is fantastic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I'm working on a 4 a.m. right here, uh, post Thanksgiving dinner, also. So, running on that, that turkey, uh, that turkey <laughs> stomach, too. Hang on a minute. It was Thanksgiving? When was it Thanksgiving? today uh, well last yeah, night it, you know you know however you want to consider that i got you guys in here on thanksgiving thanks hell yeah baby thanks giving night i'm so uh, sorry i didn't realize it was a holiday of no, 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 no no worries, it's it's a day for thanks and we okay. are thanking you for showing up my friend uh, thank yeah. you everyone for showing up today on the guy gin guys podcast <laughs> i'm your guest today lady beard coming at you with the one and only Alan, Wave, <laughs> Ryan, and, 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 wait, hang on a minute, your name has disappeared off my screen. How, how am I supposed to have a cue? Give it now. 
Hang on. I Wave love... right and champ. <laughs> That's right. I'm Sorry, champ. Sorry. He, he, he Sorry. knew it. He was just messing with those guys. Don't worry. That was know. terrible. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst introduction of four men in history. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, on this channel. No, uh, look at this. Check this out. If I, if I move I laterally, I can exit my face box. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Or an opposite, an opposite lateral. It's like magic, man. It's like magic. That's the best. We got, we got some Aussies in the chat. We got Adults JL in the chat. Australia represent. We got Hard Bros 2021. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we're going on. Oh, my God. Hey, brother from No Gut. <laughs> this is fantastic. David Hundberg says, well, hi, guys. And there's a box covering Stream Elements comment. <laughs> hey, you're going to read Stream <laughs> Elements again? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to, to read that one, man. I'll stream hey, Elements. Hey. That's, that's the boss, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's the robot. I mean, I don't know if he's going to appreciate it as much as the other guys. You know? <laughs> that's right. I remember Stream Elements now. Stream Elements has been you're a thorn to... in my side. <laughs> trying to be a friend with, with a robot again. Hey, well, what about that, uh, the introduction you told us you are going to do? What, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, hey, yeah. All right. I want to see the different a, face. I'm going to do a, a Japanese introduction to the there show, everybody. This will be um, <laughs> Japanese TV voice and also <laughs> Japanese a TV face. Alan, count me in. Give me a five, four, three, two, one, right? <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. どうしてかねえ。ガイジルガイズのもう日本の音楽ポッドキャスト。よし、行こうぜ。いや。You know what? After criticizing your grammar, I'm pretty sure my Japanese grammar was incorrect at the end there. I think you should I think you should do it again. <laughs> We're basically just creating again. a bunch of I'll voice. I'll do it again with correct people. grammar. Give me one more. I'll do it again with correct grammar. Yeah, all, right, all right, all right, hold on. Hold on. Let's yeah. get the box fixed. So, you know, we'll get this set up nicely. Good. Thank you. Make sure your hair looks good. Dude. Get right. get this centered. Get that out of the way. There we go. You're good. <laughs> uh, give me a hand. Now I've got to move right. my chair so I'm in the center. Is Four, that correct? That's beautiful. Three, two. ワン。ね、さあ、こんにちは。レディビアです。そして、もう一回外人ガイズのもう日本の日本の音楽ポッドキャストでいらっしゃいませ。よし、行こうぞ。ワン。ディフレンスグラマーミステイクだった。<笑
and we did Unicon in Austria, and we're very excited, and now we're booking up our convention schedule for next year, and Baby Beard 2023, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, hey, at the end of this stream, you need to head to the YouTubes and watch our music videos for Nippon Kara Konnichiwa, and Pianizer are coming at you through the internet, through the web waves, 2023, things that rhyme with shmi, 2024, <laughs> close the backroom door! 2025, Grandma's still alive. 2026, <laughs> where did I leave my sticks? <laughs> in 2025, oh, man, 2026, man. In. <laughs> there, there was a big switch up right there between <laughs> those two. 27, someone's, someone's going to heaven. Well, there's only I'm... one thing that rhymes with seven, and that's heaven, and that everyone uses that rhyme constantly. Or Bevan, if you have a friend named Bevan. Well, how does it... <laughs> how... How Man, how does it feel being back on the road? Like, what are the? Oh, how's it been just going to all these places? Is it like it was before? Is it better? How does oh, it feel? It's, it's so. Well, it was never bad, right? But it's uh, it's great now because everyone's been cooped up inside for two years or whatever. So everyone's so hungry to get out and just you know, get back to human interaction. So it's been fantastic, man. Let me tell you something. So let me tell you about the shows in Japan at the moment. When we do shows in Japan at the moment, they um. The COVID rules were as such. You had to have, you know, half capacity or 30% capacity of people in the venue or whatever. And they're all socially distanced and all spaced out. And the rules were they had to have a mask and they had, they were not, no one could make any noise with their mouths. So you could have polite clap at the end of each song. And that was all that was allowed. Aggressive moving, not permitted because that, results in breath being expelled and no one wants that so for the, like, the first two years of this group our audience was like a spaced out room of mannequins in wow. masks who are not allowed to do anything the mm -hmm. most excited they could get was this that was the most excitement you could have right so it's been so strange being on stage and that's what you're performing to right it really is it's like a wall full of mannequins so how then, do you keep your energy up, up like how do you keep the energy up when you're on stage, well, you know, feeding off of it is a big thing of be, it, you know? Yeah, but be a professional, you know? It's like, that's the performer's job to come up with the energy, you know? It's the audience's yeah. job to receive the energy. Um, but then going to Brazil, you know, down there, by the time we got there, they were well and truly over COVID. So before we'd made it anywhere near the stage, woo, baby, man, woo! So, so... <laughs> It was a beautiful thing to witness, right? Because the two girls in my group, have they'd never performed overseas before. So their entire performance experience with this group had been to these room full of mannequins. So we get to Brazil and like before we've even, before they've gone on stage, they just start playing our opening video. Everyone, Wee! start screaming. And both the girls are like, ah! Oh! It, it was really adorable, actually. It's the first time they've ever had a receptive audience. So they go on stage and just from the very beginning, like, ah! 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 It's the first time they've ever had an audience, like, give <laughs> that kind of energy to them. So it was really beautiful. Nice. Awesome. <clears throat> I, we saw a clip that you did a baby metal cover out on the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you plan yeah. on making that an uh, actual music video, maybe? A baby metal cover in the future? Maybe it looks off screen. <laughs> <laughs> what does the manager Somebody. say? Somebody tell me what he said. He already said something in a voice that was too quiet for me to hear. Let's, hey, let's skip hey, that question. Hey, <laughs> hey, try to convince her, okay? Baby Metal did just okay. have a comeback, you know? You guys should uh, consider it. We have a request to release. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, she already has a plan in that department. She already oh, has a plan. She oh, wow. Has Shiori is my manager, by the way, of. who's sitting off camera. I won't ask her to wait. Oh, do you want to wave on camera? Do you want to? Yeah. We... <laughs> That's a... yeah she is. Beautiful <laughs> hands. Beautiful hands. She's part of the interview <laughs> last time, so I remember Shiori. She was so oh, <laughs> um she already has a plan that's that's hey i'm gonna leave it ambiguous she already has a plan that's all i have to say <laughs> but yeah no that was great everyone uh, obviously got very excited for that so it was a lot of good fun yeah did you i was about to say did, did you shock everyone when you pull that one out the bay metal cover at that show what what when did you play it do you did you do that at every show or just the one we saw a clip somebody did some fan cam of it and we're like yeah, oh crap been, <laughs> doing that on a lot of the shows we've been doing that yeah. on a lot of the shows so it's uh 
Yeah, I mean, look, it's, you know, everybody knows the song, right? So yeah. everyone gets very excited. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, so are you playing man, all it's... new songs on the tour? Or are you try, or did you bring, or is it just oh. Baby Beard songs? Listen to me, Alan. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to come to the show and check it out for yourself, my friend. Uh, Lady Beard's not the kind of artist to ruin the whole surprise. Well, when you coming to the U.S. Venue? When are we coming to the U.S.? That's a great question. I have. I have. He I have looks a off camera once question. more. Hey, I need you. Like I need someone... you to switch spots with your manager for me. <laughs> it's really an interview of Shiori via me. I'm like a clairvoyant. <laughs> um, uh, I need you to uh, to lobby uh, the White House and make it easier to get performance visas. That's what uh, I need you to do. Okay. You know what? I have a direct connect. I'll give him a call tomorrow morning. Oh, man, hit it up. I know you go snowboarding with President Biden all the time. <laughs> That's my boy right there. <laughs> that, that beanie of yours is straight from the mountain slopes. The mountain yeah. slopes. It's, it's actually in Ohio State. So it's actually right in the middle of like, you know. Oh, that's, that's exactly where Biden does his snowboarding. That's perfect. Wow, that's amazing. You know more about my buddy than I do. Man. <laughs> no, exactly your buddy, Biden. My, buddy, my, so, my buddy Joe. So visas, my buddy Joe. Oh, so visas no. make it difficult to get over here more than it is to get to other places at the moment? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like the U.S. It's uh, it's not necessarily difficult, but the U.S. visas are very expensive. So oh. they can be prohibited prohibitively expensive i'm gotcha. not going to go into specific figures but you know you can i'm sure you can figure it out and go on yeah. and plaque on the mm. internet yeah, it's, it's very expensive um so that becomes you know that makes things challenging so right now we don't have any u.s plans but listen people in the u.s who want to bring us over bring us over please get in contact do in contact at the clickety clacks and let's figure it out yeah. alan you're gonna bring us over alan's yeah. new touring promotion company <laughs> four gaijin guys <laughs> Bring four Japanese artists to four states of the United States. One of them featured in a snowboarding contest with President Biden. That's going to be the tour. I can't wait. That's the title of a grab attention. Man. <laughs> that was the wait, best was promo the package part? we've ever had. <laughs> that could work. Um, it could work really well. Um, I need to ask, I don't know much about the other three Gaijin guys because this is our first time meeting. So can you introduce yourselves? And tell me a bit about yourselves so people help me remember your name. This is like we're in year five. This is like the first day of year five. Like, around the circle. Say your name. Something about yourself. Hello, Mr. I Beard. Am... It's nice to finally meet you. Uh, my, my name is Champ. Yep. I am from New Jersey. I make reaction videos on the internet to uh, cool Japanese music and uh, Korean music, too. But oh. pretty those two, pretty much. And that's all there is really to know about me. All right, I love it, champ. I love your healthy beard, and I love your snowboarding hat. Both of them are very appropriate for the occasion. He's really picked up on my vibe, guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> what it's all about. Let's, let's have Ryan. Ryan, tell me about yourself. Hello, my name is Ryan. I'm from uh, Indiana. Indiana. The coolest state ever. <laughs> right? Do you have anything to back that up? No. <laughs> I, I, I'll back it up for him. He has sweet water sound. That's why. <laughs> There's sweet water sound in Indiana. So so that's a big bonus. But yeah, I'd uh, do uh, reaction videos, play some music. I like hear myself talk, so it's a good gig. All right. I love it. Lovely to meet you, sir. Thank you for nice having me today. Too. And finally. <laughs> What's oh, his name? No, right. no, Ladybeard. Go, go for it. What's it? Finally, who? <laughs> Mr. Potter. Uh, I'm Wait, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word. It's a word that's not usually a name. Where? Or... Uh, he he did it to you when you first saw him. Wave. You're correct. Thank you very much. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's the visual hey, cues, man. Three out of four is not bad. Wave. <laughs> wave. I'm wave. Uh, I mean, pretty much the same as these guys. I play music. I play drums and guitar and do reaction videos. And I really like to dive deep into music, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, are your glasses actual glasses, or are they simply frames? Oh, they're, they're blue light -like glasses. Oh, they're actually, they're bootleg glasses. <laughs> the boot Did you say no. bootleg or blue <laughs> light? <laughs> blue light. <laughs> I was like, what's bootleg glasses, man? I don't know, but I want some. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if they make you look cooler, I'm in. 
<laughs> You're well, bootlegging that's, that's, those uh, now? <laughs> it's mostly to hide the bags under my eyes. <laughs> I love it. Well, I should go get my glasses. Uh, I expect a new song coming out of the Gaijin guys anytime soon. Bootleg glasses. I need to hear oh. all about it. Uh, that's an album name right there. Right? Oh, you just gave us inspiration. It's a concept album. Con- concept album. <laughs> different, different eyewear for every song. Be out in 2025. They're all Another frame in the bootleg glasses. I love it. <laughs> have lyrics coming out already. Yeah, let's do it. a song for us. So, um, uh, featuring well, thank Lady you, Beard. Gentlemen. Thank you for introducing yourselves. It's very nice to meet you all. I'm already acquainted with Alan, but you can mm. do an introduction too if you want to, Alan. Do an introduction. Oh, good. Fun. People have heard from me enough. <laughs> yeah. Alan, do it in Japanese, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> After I go to Japan, I'll, I'll have Lady Beard teach me how to say it in J- Japanese when I come back. There we go. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. The I can't wait. I will I will impart knowledge to another human. That's what I'll do. I can't wait. <laughs> it's awesome. Look so, at wait, No Guard. Our friend No Guard is uh very active in the chat box. Yeah. Uh, yeah no Guard's here. What's up, No Guard? Oh, no <laughs> he guard. is very active. He's very excited to have Mr. Beard on the channel. Yeah, God stuff. bless you. Mr. Beard's very excited to be here. This is amazing. Our friend Chase Carnson has shown up with six eyes. Oh, six eye Chase Carnson. He's got <laughs> three pairs of bootleg glasses on. That's how he feels. Look at that one, Al. Oh, yeah, God. hello, Mr. Chase. Chase is another man that uh, that frequents the internet making uh, videos. Yeah. He's a, he's yeah. a fellow Gaijin guy of ours. <laughs> hang on so right now we hang on stop hang on wave where are you sir which state of the americas are you in wisconsin <laughs> you were in wisconsin so we're so hang on jersey indiana wisconsin and alan you're in texas yeah yeah in texas yeah. and i'm in freaking tokyo this is a geographically diverse group <laughs> it is <laughs> very, we're very, international and baby. The, chat, the chat is just as diverse for sure yeah yeah every, t- every, t- right. <laughs> every time they start talking about where the- it's everywhere all over the world every time yeah Go everyone ahead. in the chat yes. let lady beard know where you guys are from i got yeah, a question for you so i saw you guys dress up as the powerpuff girls my question was yes. did you cover the powerpuff girls theme song live uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, very hesitant <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. i'm not sure how to take that <laughs> alan you need to come to the show my friend you and i'm trying to get it out of here shut it up so we can bring the show well, to the u.s <laughs> you got you got to entice us like you know maybe if they know that you're gonna do the powerpuff theme song and like maybe people might uh <laughs> maybe we, can, we can start a go fund me or something but like hey do you want to see lady Bear <laughs> pop up girls and then we might be able to good raise idea. some funds <laughs> Good idea. Let's do a GoFundMe so we can cover the Powerpuff Girls. That's a great idea. You are correct. We did do we did a Powerpuff Girls cosplay. That was our Halloween cosplay this year. Me and the two girls, my group Baby Beard. Um, and uh, uh, it uh, went well, from what I could tell. <laughs> from what you could tell. I could tell. Okay. I don't want to go making bland statements like it went well when you know that's really a matter of opinion, isn't it? No, I, I guess you need the perception of everybody, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't want to state my opinion like it's a universal truth. You well, from I mean? the from the images that I saw, I think that it was a rousing success, my friend. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we did some power puffy puffy. And then um, I separately with some other characters, I did a spy family cosplay for Halloween as well. And that was hilarious. That went uh, very well. A little bit of Anya, waku wak. And it was a, a good time. Um, what did the four Gaijin guys do for Halloween? F's, I don't know. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> uh, nothing. It feels like it was so long ago now. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think I was on an well, airplane. We've yeah. just had Thanksgiving, haven't we? For one holiday to the next. What did you lot all do for Thanksgiving today? Being an Australian, I don't know very much about this American holiday. So uh, culturally educate me, please. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. Do we tell them the Do we tell them the real story or the story that we're taught as children in uh, in school? No, I've seen I've seen that conversation happen on American TV plenty of times. Tell me what you did with your families today. Did you eat a turkey or something? 
that's okay. that's that's pretty much what it is now right like that's what i that's what i did i ate a bunch of turkey bunch of stuffing and just right. uh, drank a lot of wine and then then just enjoyed ourselves you know it's a very family friendly day all right good time ryan what'd you get up to the turkey was turkey was not ready when we were supposed to eat so we didn't have any turkey today it's gonna have that tomorrow uh, wow later i mean later because today is tomorrow i'm just um isn't turkey <laughs> full of that hormone that makes you sleepy tryptophan uh, yeah yeah, yeah, that's the one. I think uh, here here's a fun fact. I didn't have any turkey today. Ate a bunch of food. Was still really tired. So I don't think it's the turkey. <laughs> I think it's just eating a bunch of food and, and sitting around. Sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you want to take that, a nap. Uh, that'll do it, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> had an alternative source of tryptophan. See, the next time you come over, you can cosplay as turkey. Oh, all right. yeah. <laughs> I mean, cosplay is turkey to Thanksgiving. Me at the White House as well. That'd be good. You just have the girls. We'll go. We'll go. Legs. We'll go snowboarding together, and he'll, he'll hook you up, man. In your turkey outfits. Right. How, wait, what did you do today for Thanksgiving? Uh, well, instead of turkey, we had some uh, tater tot hot dish. Wait, just watch football. Now. Wait, what? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, tater tot Sorry, my friend. Hot dish. A potato is not a turkey. What are you talking about? <laughs> From Wisconsin. <laughs> is that an explanation? Hot, hot dish. What hot dish? <laughs> I guess that's not an explanation. I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought the potatoes were from Idaho. This explanation is going to need more explanation. Yeah, they're with. imported. Wisconsin has the cheese, don't you? Yes. And we have is a lot there of that cheese. Too. Is there cheese in the hot dish? <laughs> yes, of course. No. Okay. <laughs> it's actually course. more cheese than it is potatoes. Oh. <laughs> um, I feel uh, all of you in Wisconsin are missing an excellent marketing opportunity um, with the, the phrase, make America great again, as in G-R-A-T-E. Get there with your cheese. As the sole representative of Wisconsin oh, Wave, you should pay attention and heed his words. <laughs> yeah, I think you're onto something. So, here. What about this potato hot dish now? What, what is it? <laughs> well, it's basically a, a bunch of ground beef and and a few vegetables thrown in, but mostly cheese and then uh, tater tots on top. Sounds I've wonderful. Never heard that before. Is that a Thanksgiving dish only in Wisconsin? Okay, here's the real thing. It was in the freezer, us. ready to go in the oven, and our turkey wasn't thawed because oh. uh, everyone was out of town until Wednesday, so <laughs> we didn't have time to thaw a turkey. <laughs> so, we had, so we had two people with no turkeys today. <laughs> Alan, did you have a turkey tonight? I did not have a turkey today. What the, heck? what the heck happened? There was a horrible representative what, what, what of America. What kind of Thanksgiving is There was this? no Thanksgiving <laughs> celebration in my house. <laughs> no turkeys were harmed. Well, they're already dead. Oh. We didn't get them e eaten. <laughs> um, I think I went to a Thanksgiving dinner once with a group of American friends in, in Hong Kong, and it was a delightful experience. Um, the main difference I noticed between Thanksgiving and Christmas was the absence of trees. Well, yeah, yeah. that's true. Pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that is yeah, definitely is it, accurate. Kind of eat the same food. That's a good. Are thing. there any Thanksgiving things apart from the turkey? Honestly, I not pumpkin pie, but I guess that's on Christmas also. But you know, but mainly it's on Thanksgiving. Hmm. Normally, pumpkin pie is like a Thanksgiving kind of thing. Okay, pumpkin pie. You reckon? Hang on, what's the deal with that? I heard the story about how the uh, pilgrims, the natives gave him a turkey so that's why you eat turkey or something along those lines where how did the pumpkin get involved oh i think i know about a pumpkin is that's what bloody cinderella wrote to her ball after midnight or whatever happened <laughs> exactly <laughs> you, know, <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. you know what i think it's just leftover from halloween and the jack-o-lanterns that people made and they were just like you know what next month we got another holiday well, let's turn this this stuff into food right now <laughs> we're gonna do this stuff yeah if anything that was a pretty and smart it's idea just pumpkin spice lattes yeah, you know there's not actually any pumpkin in most of these things also. It's really just like cinnamon and vanilla that creates this taste that people decided to call pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Nobody pumpkin's eats pumpkins. It's a tagline for the title. Uh, I smell it's just a, a uh, false It's a ploy to sell pumpkins. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so Chase says, Alan, says how do uh, y'all get that land if you can't even thaw a turkey on time? <laughs> <laughs> you you Midwesterners out there. <laughs> Sorry, I had to read much. that comment. That was great. 
It's like intracontinental discrimination. <laughs> I don't know any land. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. rent. <laughs> Who has this land you speak of? <laughs> so, so, Alan, what'd you do today? If there was no turkey, there was no pie of the pumpkin. I what'd you do? had a lovely time with my bass and guitar and we played we made music together <laughs> and i wrote oh, i wrote about two songs worth of stuff and yeah it's pretty much what i did for the majority of the day and i edited videos great all right all right that's a productive uh -huh. day it's a productive day yeah day was a productive day. Oh, hang yeah. on a minute now ryan i have an indiana oriented question indiana you have that large city named indianapolis oh uh, yeah that's easy to remember because it has the same name as the Super state. creative, yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> hang on. Now, hang on. There's something else I know about Indiana. There's a university or something like that. Uh, uh. There's IU, and there's also Notre Dame way up north. Notre Dame? No, well, no. Yeah, Ronnie, we call it. We call it Notre Dame. Oh, okay. Indiana. <laughs> the Indiana pronunciation. The Hunchback University. Oh, Notre Dame University. It's all about football, man. The football. Yeah. Oh, I'm not really interested in. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That and uh, Haw there's Hawkins, Indiana, which is a, a fake town that's really popular. Fake? Fake <laughs> town? Uh, have, you a, have you heard of Stranger Things, the TV show? Oh, I've heard of it once or twice. It's 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 set in Indiana. So Okay. You know. Indiana okay. is the the nowhere place to to set a oh, a TV yes. show or a movie. Um, <laughs> Americans seem to be very critical uh, when they're when they're getting into nowhere oriented situations. Americans seem to have a lot of criticism for the state of Ohio in the nowhere um, category as well, mm -hmm. and um, and um, uh, that state has a city named Toledo. And another city named Cincinnati. And that's what I can tell you about it. I'm I love the geography <laughs> lesson, man. I'm learning a lot. I feel like I'm learning. I don't, I don't know yeah. these things, man. Yeah, yeah. I live here and I don't know any cities. So you're teaching me. Right. I looked at a map. That's how I learned these things. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, you're looking at a map currently. I looked at a map two times. And this is these are the things I've learned about the United States of America. It's more than I learned looking at a map. <laughs> um, well, man, for, back, for back in my day, we had globes. I couldn't um, read those things. For, <laughs> for everybody here, man, tell everyone your journey, man. Uh, how you got to where you're at today. Um, I'll give you the brief version. I, uh, I, 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 uh, I used to be an actor and a stuntman. I lived in Hong Kong, and I was uh, doing... Uh, stunts in kung fu movies and voice acting dubbing japanese anime into english and the 2008 financial crisis came along and wiped out my career overnight and i said what am i gonna do and um i made the very logical choice of saying i could fix all my problems by becoming a cross-dressing pro wrestler and heavy metal singer so i did that and then i moved to japan and got famous in japan and now i'm in uh, my third japanese pop group <laughs> that is a that's very it's concise very and also a plan that worked yeah out. a very active career that you've had right there i kind of yeah. i want to go back to the stuntman thing that's really what cool. did you do for stunts <laughs> so i um uh so i'm a martial artist from you know my my early years my teenage years so i trained in martial arts for like 10 years or something and uh then i so um when i left i went through high school then i went through acting school in australia and then i um moved from my small little hometown of Adelaide to Melbourne, which is a bigger place. And I was on the stunt team of an Australian who had spent uh, nine years on the Jackie Chan stunt team. Wow. And had then come wow. back to Australia and was making his own team. So I spent some time on his team. And <clears throat> um, one day I was complaining to him about something, something Australia. I think it was to do with, I think I did an audition and it went badly and I was upset. So I'm complaining to him about something. And he's like, well, uh, why don't you go to Hong Kong? And so I went, oh, God, okay. So I went to Hong Kong and uh, things actually went quite fluently there. So, yeah, so I started doing stunt work and whatnot and acting work and voice acting work in Hong Kong. And I organized myself a nice little career until 2008. Wow. So <laughs> you never injured yourself doing stunts and anything like that? You know what? My, my most severe injuries came from training gymnastics. Wow. So jumping and landing. Oh, crap.
yeah, yeah. Because I'd always like roll out my ankles and things like that, right? Uh, so, mm. Yeah, yeah. Interestingly, then when I started pro wrestling, that's very interesting. So I broke my ankle when I was like 20 years old or something doing gymnastics. And um, it was the most ridiculous bone break in history. We're all doing <laughs> our flips on the mini tramp thing, right? So I run up, bang, hit the thing, do my flip, do my present, whatever it is. And then when I step off the crash mat, Oh no! It hits the ground. It goes bang. And goes, oh, oh, it's oh, it's no. always that. It's a, you you nail the big stun and then you're just walking away and you know it's it's always that. It's like it if somebody like, said, "Whoops, we forgot to crack it there." <laughs> well, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so that injury then haunted me for years. Still haunts me to this day sometimes. Oh, oh wow! But yeah. but you still did you just still did pro wrestling after that, huh? Yeah. So this is one of the very interesting things. So after that happened. <clears throat> With my martial arts and gymnastics and stuff, after that I kind of had a mental block to do with jumping because I couldn't, like I couldn't commit to the jumps. I couldn't jump high enough to jump up, do the flip, and land on my feet because I was always, like I was scared I was going to injure my ankle yeah. upon landing. But what's very interesting is when I started pro wrestling. When you do wrestling, you do the flip, but you land on your stomach, or you land on your back or your knees because you're doing uh. splashes and things, right? You normally don't end like end on on your feet, so. Then I got to the ring and I was like, well, I could still do the flip part. It's just the landing that I have a problem with. But now I can land on my, like in a splash formation on the ring. So, okay. So now I'll take the gymnastics training and now I can put it in the ring. And look at that. It's a way to make lemonade out of cats. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You seem to be good at that, though. I'm using that. Like, do you still do flips currently at shows? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm getting increasingly less good at them. I'm getting increasingly crooked as the years go on. It's, it's much less of a go straight back type arrangement. Now it's kind of one of these, you know what I mean? So I have a question. Who was your favorite person to get in the ring with and why was it Mio Shrai? <laughs> um, she, yeah, Mio, let me tell you something, man. Mio hits you so hard. Yeah, it looked like it. So when I first started wrestling, I, so for those who don't know, I wrestled in Japan with a company called DDT for a long time. The, my precursor to my DDT days was a subsidiary company of theirs called Union Pro Wrestling, and I was in this company with this girl called Mio. And um, one of my first ever shows, I'm backstage or something, I'm talking about the other wrestlers, and my Japanese was terrible at the time. Where, you know, he's being very kind to me, and we're bumbling through a conversation. And he's like, all right, so who are you working with today? I'm like, ah, oh, I think I've got Mio. And he goes, ah, oh, you got Mio. <laughs> He's like, oh, she's, she hits you so hard. And yeah, I was those like, shots ah. are going to be stiff. Those shots are going to be stiff, man. Oh, right. I'm like, ah, it'll be fine. We get in the ring. First thing that happens, Mio's like, bang, just nails me in the head. I'm like, ah, holy <laughs> moly. It was brutal. Yeah, um, those, yeah those, those are eyes. They don't pull any punches. Oh, bro, Mio's a very good wrestler. She's a very good wrestler. Very yeah, good wrestler. her and her sister both. And, uh, and and my first exposure to you was actually that match that I had oh, seen really? a long time ago. And just when I found out that we were going to have you guys uh, interviewed, I watched it again. And I was just like, that is that is so cool, man. Like, you know, Mio, to me, I, I have recently got really into like the, the Japanese uh, professional wrestling scene. So knowing that somebody like you was able to like, you know, kind of transition from not just the 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 stunt man to the wrestling, but from stunt man to the uh, to the wrestling to the voice acting to the to the music. Dude, you're living you're living the life of many lives right now. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Brazilian. It's, it's an, pardon me. I'm half Brazilian. No, I'm not. What did you say? You said resilient. <laughs> I said <laughs> you're very resilient. I thought you said you're half Brazilian. <laughs> Didn't you know like that? that? You didn't know that about <laughs> you need yourself? A, you need to do a Theranos blood test and they can tell me all about it. <laughs> um, uh, now I'm thinking about Brazil. I'm not half Brazilian at all. <laughs> his, his mind has just been completely cluttered by Brazil now. That's my bad. So, what did you say again, champ? <laughs> all the MMA fighters and whatnot. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, no guard in the chat wants to know: Are you still wrestling, or would you want to in the future? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm not with DDT anymore. So at the start of um, global event of 2020, are we allowed to say the name of the global event of 2020? Is that permitted? Yeah, we we say it. Don't it's okay with us. Don't you get, don't you get yeah. kicked off the internet? Yeah, she already saying don't do it. Don't you get kicked okay. off? Okay. 
No. I mean, no. We haven't yet. Uh, I yeah. think. I, thought, I don't okay. know. I won't say it anyway. Everybody knows. At the beginning of 2020, due to circumstances beyond their control, mm -hmm. um, DDT did a restructuring, and they said to me, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to? Do you want it? We're doing this restructuring like this. The type of match that they liked using me in disappeared. So they're mm -hmm. like, all right, so what do you want to do? And I said, I'm going to uh, go freelance. So I'm now a freelance wrestler in Japan. And I haven't done very much in ring since the start of global event beyond our control. Um, but uh, at the moment, but yeah, still wrestling. It just, it hasn't been very much of it in the past recent times because of global event beyond our control. Um, very cool. I do, thing, I do a thing over here called Makai, which is a wrestling theater live music crossover show. That sounds oh. amazing. Uh, it's so cool. I want to get some kind of distribution organized. What, what's it called? Makai? Makai. So M A K A I. Mm. So um, uh, Shira Hikaru from AEW is in there. Wow, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like wow. the, lead, the lead actress in it. Oh, yeah. that's so cool, man. Yeah, yeah. That's very I'm cool. I'm curious, what is um, a freelance wrestler? What does that mean exactly? Well, sorry, just firstly, first, I think I said Cheetah's name wrong. Her last name's not Hikaru, is it? That's the famous singing girl, Cheetah. Hikaru. No, it is Hikaru. It is. Oh, I got it right. You got sorry. it. You got it. Yeah. The girl who sung First Love. Oh, I'm going to give you the Utada Hikaru. Oh, dear. Look at this. This is, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My it's okay, buddy. There's, there, there, right there's, right <laughs> it, it's oh, okay. There's more than one yeah. than I ever yeah. Um, uh, the question difference between uh, uh, like a company wrestler and a freelance wrestler. So, if you're a wrestler for a company, it's kind of like um, uh, you wrestle for the company, and you're kind of under the um the umbrella and the kind of the stewardship i suppose of the company so if you want to go wrestle elsewhere you have to get the company's permission to do so and then there'd probably be a conversation between your company boss and their company boss and can that all be organized and this kind of thing um if you're a freelancer then you're a freelancer and you're in charge of your own career but you don't have that kind of you know you don't have an institution behind you so you're doing everything yourself Right, like it's less, you have less support behind you by the company above you, but you get to make all your own decisions. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's sort of like being a musician who's independent versus being a musician on a like a major label or something. I guess I just exactly. never thought about that because all I've seen, you know, being over here, just like you just see like the wrestling that's here. So you're like, wait, how does that work as a freelancer? Like, <laughs> yeah, there, there, are, there are indie <laughs> leagues out there. It's just yeah. that we don't really hear about them. They don't have TV deals or anything like uh, that. At least not, not most of them. So, uh, but when they do, you know, when they do show up and they get that TV deal or whatever, it's like really cool to see like one of the indie guys, the freelance guys actually show up on one of the big programs. Every, you know, everybody's waiting for that moment. It's like this huge hype moment, the crowd explodes. And I was going to say, that's like one of the things, like, especially with your thing in the ring and how you, how you act. Um, it's like very, um, it works with the crowd so well. And well, while the crowd's not really allowed to go out there and yell and scream, just like with the musical shows over at the wrestling shows, they're still doing the golf claps. I feel like it would be missing something, not having that reaction. Yeah. Do you know what? One of the very interesting things about doing any kind of like performance oriented or something or sports in Japan is um the audience is sort of part of the show it's a very interesting thing watching the audience is sometimes at times more interesting than watching the stage um the first time i saw baby metal here i saw it in a big stadium i saw it saw them in a big stadium i was in the balcony looking down at the mosh pit the mosh pit there'll be like three circles going at the same time and then yeah. for the chorus everyone stops and they all know the choreography for all the dancers and they all <laughs> All the audience, all these filthy metalheads, they all do this really cute little idol choreography. <laughs> yeah. And then they go back to doing a circle pit or a wall of death. Or <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's that's amazing. like my favorite thing about music right now, though, man. <laughs> but that's, it's, it's the kind of thing that you could only make work in Japan because that's part of the culture. Like um, communal dancing, everyone doing group dances is kind of a part of the culture in Japan. They do it Ooh. in school from when they're you know very young. And yep. uh, is that actually for you? Yeah. sort of every time i say something about japan i ask you is that accurate she's like sort of <laughs> but, but, but also it's kind of the the japanese attitude towards things is um you know i can do it as long as everyone else is also doing it 
We're all doing the same dance. Cool, I can do it. I don't want to stand out, but if we're all doing it, cool, let's all do it together. Ah. So therefore, that kind of audience experience is the kind of thing you can only get in Japan. Alan, you're trying to say something. What are you trying to say? Going towards the baby metal thing, I'm fi- I'm a huge fan of baby metal, and I'm finally going to see them live. And what am I in store for? Because I can't I wait to I'm going time. to Austria to see them. Are you going to Austria to see them? Yeah, yep. I'll send my love. Um, is baby beer going to go to Austria? Maybe we could, Baby uh, beer was it. just in Austria like three weeks ago. I'll go <laughs> if you're there. <laughs> Alan, you're late, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, are you Vince touring in May? If you go on tour in May, you know, next year. Kid Morning in May. <laughs> That's the name of your second album that we've come up with tonight, Mid Morning in May. Oh, I man. didn't say anything about morning. <laughs> we got friends. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Lady, Lady Beard's ears are terrible. <laughs> you need more earplugs at your shows. <laughs> yeah, it's yours are taking bumps right there, man. Oh, bro, yeah, I mean, I've been kicked in the head by Mio too many times. I can't yeah, uh, stand in front of amps and getting kicked in the head by by tough checks, man. That'll do it. <laughs> I can't remember what we're talking about. Oh, Baby metal. metal, yeah. But what am I in store for? When I go to oh, that. you'll have a great time, man. I mean, um, you'll have a great time. It's uh, so I don't know what specifically an Austrian baby metal crowd is gonna be like, but I imagine it'll be uh, uh, look, it'll be a heavy metal crowd. Um, you'll have a great time, man. Just turn up and enjoy the show and get involved. You kind of you made me fascinated though about the the crowd in Japan watching. That's that's really interesting. I can't imagine anyone going in like circle pits and this immediate dance afterwards. You know. I've seen like the videos and stuff, everybody chanting at the same time. Everyone knows all the stuff at the same time. It's like crazy thing to see. And yeah. Better, I'll... better start learning the choreography. <laughs> yeah, start learning. Well, we did for a moment. <laughs> for, for oh, our yeah, you did. Video. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, was, I was curious. So for your guys' show, do you do anything similar to that? Like, do you have like a specific show that you put up? for people when you guys are live you know they entice people to see you and invite you to america you gotta go see it Adam. <laughs> you have to come see baby beard live in a place near you once once we have a business visa a place near you once we have a business visa 2023 here's a looking at me um uh to answer your question do we have a specific choreography i mean it's kind of a case of yeah, it's weird. yeah, we do. It's it's a case, case by case with the songs. Do you so change it up the, depending on the, the stage? Do you, change, do you change it up depending on the size of the stage you're on? Do you guys have to wing um, it sometimes? Choreography is always the same. Listen, if you watch, if hey, if you go and watch the video for our first single, Nippon Kara Konnichiwa, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of this going on in the yeah. chorus. Yeah, I remember we so were like, practicing that. Yeah, I thought I have half of it down. Yeah, you have to do four trajectory as you come. Yeah, see? four trajectory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so you want Alan? You want a rolly chair right now? I'm not. Not like last time. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then you're gonna have to bunny hop your chair back. Move your chair backwards. Okay. You're All gonna right. have to do four trajectory. All, right. All together. Everyone, move your chair backwards. Ryan has All a right. wall behind him. It could be a challenge. But everyone else, chairs backwards. Forward trajectory. Finger out pointing. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Turn around and on. And back again. Turn and back again. Yes. Good. Good. I'd yeah, be... choreography, excellent. This is amazing. I'm, I'm ready. This I think that was the most amazing. dancing I've ever done. And this, our, our second song, Rolled Pianizer. Over my cord. I'll show you Pianizer as well. Pianizer. Pianizer. You make Pianizer. fingers like this. That's like you're wiping tears from your face, yeah? Yeah. And you go, Pian. <laughs> Do we have to make the sound? Yes, good, good. <laughs> Excellent. So when you come to the show during the chorus of the songs, I expect to see all of you doing that with exceptional forward trajectory at every show that we ever do. <laughs> oh, really? See, I already knew that choreography because I watched your solo uh, dance practice for the choreography. Nice. I was very impressed, my friend. Thank you. Oh, sir. I'm guess I'm guessing a lot of that uh, that stunt work and the pro wrestling helps and and the gymnastics all helps come together to make you such the 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 fantastic dancer that you are nowadays, right? Oh, God. Bless you. You say very kind things. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that very much. I like your beanie. <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind. Champ of Hang beanie. on. Now stop just a second. You're wearing an Ohio State beanie. 
This is true. Yes. We already right. spoke about the great state of Ohio. We did. We did. I, I was I was uh, wondering if you were going to point out the hat and make that connection. You just did yeah, right no, now. I did. Uh, we were, yeah, I moved past it onto Wisconsin prior. Um, I was actually thinking about Wyoming as well, because that's the one that's alongside Ohio. In but anyway. There's Ohio, a lot of states you, to cover. Did you attend Ohio State University? They have very good wrestlers, don't they? Like uh, all those MMA guys are from Ohio State, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, yeah, they and uh, I did not go to Ohio State. My sister, my sister uh, went to Ohio State, but yeah, they did produce a lot of guys. I think uh, Dolph Ziggler was over there. I'm pretty sure the Miz was over there. Some 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 WWE guys over there. Really? Yeah. Um, wasn't what's uh, uh, MMA man uh, had a big fight with John Jones? DC wasn't he Ohio State? Oh, he might be. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to guarantee anything. But that sounds right to me. I think Daniel Cormier might have been Ohio State. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, so he, you're he... from a good wrestling university. No, you're not. Your sister is. Is your sister a wrestler? <laughs> and she doesn't. She doesn't know anything about it. You stole uh, her I don't hat. Think she <laughs> yeah, I just steal her stuff, man. <laughs> I'm to bring you a hat. Um, wave. Um, uh, wave. Uh, tell me something uh, that I don't know about Japanese music. Wow, what a question. <laughs> okay. It wasn't even a, a question, question, it was a demand. What don't you know about Japanese music? <laughs> it was a demand. It was a demand. Do it. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> you will tell me, but I don't know. Alan, didn't you tell him to, to, to put me on the spot? <laughs> I did. <This> guy, <laughs> I'm the worst. Did. I totally did. <laughs> I'm going to drink your straw while you answer my demand. <laughs> the sass involved right now. Come on, wave. Everybody's waiting. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> What sets it apart, Wade? I'll, that, I'll that's assuming that opinion. I know anything. Settle for an opinion if a fact is too much to ask for. <laughs> okay. In my opinion, Japanese music got me to care about music again. Uh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> that's a pretty big compliment. With non-Japanese music. Well, as a kid, I was a huge rock fan. Um, and it was pretty much my life. And then as I got into my 20s, I don't know, I just kind of fell away from music for a while, started listening to podcasts, and didn't really care about keeping up with what was coming out. Uh, but then getting into the Japanese music scene, now I'm hearing new music every day. And it's just, it. I don't want to generalize, but it just seems like such a high quality compared to what I've been used to my whole life. And like, no matter what I listen to, I can find something to appreciate. So that's why, it, I mean, I don't know facts, but I know that that's how Japanese music has affected me. Oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. Mm. Tell me, tell me who you're listening to from a yay pan at the moment. Uh, well, right now, Bandmade is my favorite band. And uh, also Lonesome Blue, who yeah. I just started listening to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, they have some cool music coming out. I like. I'm not super into like hard metal, but I like the the kind of rock stuff, classic rock. Mm. So, yeah, that's what do I've been know, into. Do you know this person, Ado, who recently got very famous on the internet? Yes, she yes. has an amazing voice, phenomenal yes. voice. Very she's doing very well. She's on like billboards. One through five on every she's chart. Serious. She's on big billboards and whatnot at the moment. She's doing very well. Oh, really? So, yeah, she drops a new song and suddenly it's got 40 million views. She's 19 yeah. years old. She's been doing this for a year. Every song yeah, she puts crazy. out just blows up. Crazy. So you said she, she has like billboards and everywhere throughout Japan? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, in Shibuya at the moment. So if you don't know Tokyo ge geography, Shibuya is like one of the trendy bit or one of the trendy bits. And what that's you... where they, that a lot of the music happens there. So yeah, Ado's on big old billboards in Shibuya. Well, no, she's outside Tower Records. Last time we went to Shibuya, she was outside Tower Records, as in on the billboard outside Tower Records. Wow. It's very impressive. What do you think it is about her that is, I mean, other than she's a phenomenal singer, like she really is, <clears throat> like amazing vocalist, but you think there's something else to it? Because it is a interesting thing <laughs> to go to a show where you don't actually see her. It's just, you know, the pictures and images. I was <clears throat> curious if you know anything about that. Well, it's, it's my opinion. It probably has something to do with she's the one who 
I guess, nailed it perfectly with the timing and with the zeitgeist because of global events when everyone was at home and mm. couldn't go out. And then also the kind of the trend towards VTubers and streaming and all that kind of thing. I guess, it seems to me, she's kind of the one who just, she was the one for that, for that, you know, wave to pick up and sweep away. Let's ask the Japanese contingency. Aido, why do you think she's so famous? Ah, uh, really? Really? Tell me more. Uh, like the reunion and the affirmative stuff and the stuff. Yep. stuff. Yep, yep. Yeah, that matches the trend. Uh, of, of society in general? Yes. Or young people's psychological problems. Ah, uh, really? Did you guys hear that? Oh, yeah, wow. I think she's talking about with Siwa, right? With Siwa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, yeah. You so it's the that, lyrics? Like, she said it was the lyrics, right, that uh, resonate with younger folks? Yeah, and and so, how and how it relates to society, right? right? Wow. Yeah, and the the general feeling of the youth at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard I've heard similar things about that, just from like comment sections and stuff like that. From from the videos I posted about that that song, a lot of the people were talking about how like it actually really really connects with them, just because it uh, it makes them feel like they could be um it makes them feel like they'd be more free than what society would dictate. Wow. Um. Wow. Japan is for for I would argue for the average Japanese person it seems to be my perception Japan is not a particularly freeing environment for the youth Shiori mm. would you consider that statement accurate yeah. yeah she would consider that statement accurate mm -hmm. um, so my kind of the way I feel about living as part of you know the society and so forth in japan it's totally different if you just visit but once you're in japan and you're inside the institutions and inside the structures there's uh -huh. oh, there's a lot of rules which must be followed at all times no matter what and you're not really allowed to ask why is this a rule mm. because a lot of the time no one actually knows why it's a rule it's just, it's a rule because that's how the way it's always been. Tradition. Change things. So to that end, there's a lot of, you must do, you must do all these things that you don't necessarily want to do. And you don't necessarily see any real reason to do. And at the same time, you cannot do all these other things that you would like to do instead. And you see reasons to do. Shiori, is that an accurate assessment of Japanese living? Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. In terms of what? In terms of what you do in your like business. Yeah, so that's in terms of business and so forth. What about yeah. within the family? Uh, it depends where you live. Okay. Depends where you live. Okay. Oh, wow. If you're from the countryside, it'll be more conservative? Okay. I guess that makes sense anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be different depending on the area region that you are in Japan, pretty much. Yeah. Tokyo uh, is different because everyone Tokyo. comes from all over and then comes to Tokyo. So therefore, Tokyo is a bit different. Um, but that, like, the sentiment I just expressed is kind of my feeling of living in Japan and kind of what I, th what I think I observe. How long it's has always... it been since you've been living there so far? How long has it Nine been years. now? Nine, Nine years? years? Wow. Oh, yeah. With oh, baby, yeah. with baby beard lyrics, do you keep it more on the fun side, more uplifting? Do you plan on like talking about society in Japan, or how do you approach lyrics? How how does the group approach lyrics for <clears throat> the singers? Yeah, so, so we have we have. Uh, I'm allowed to talk about Twisted Kaiju Tale, yeah, yeah. We have a new song called Twisted Kaiju Tale. I don't know when it's going to be released, but it will be released at some point. We've sung it live, so when you come to the live show in your neck of the woods after we get a visa, then you'll be able to check it out. I'll travel um, to see yeah. to see you guys. Bless you. Thank you, Alan. I look forward to it, my friend. Uh, that is a song in which we sort of explored a particular social condition through the joy and magic of metaphoric representation. There's another symbolism. That's the word I was going for. Symbolism, <laughs> metaphoric representation. I'm starting to forget English words, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, um... <laughs> Yeah. So that's uh, I would argue that's the only song in which we've really addressed any kind of deeper issues so far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 
Yeah. Our, our contract is basically cut some time. Yeah. While yeah. they found a difficult time. So. Yeah. Um, Baby Beard is not necessarily a group that you go to to feel depressed. So I'm trying to encourage the opposite of that as much as possible. We're trying to kind of you know, help people through tough times, yeah. such as yeah. global events. That That's what we name. need. That's yeah. what we need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. were just... Uh... I was going to say, what, as a group, do you guys write the lyrics? Do you guys have producers, writers? How do you guys go about the writing process? It varies. So in the two new songs I've got coming up, uh, I wrote those lyrics. Um, where should I? Yep, I wrote those lyrics. The previous two were written by someone else because so the previous two, what we did, so Nippon Karako, Nichiwa, and Pianizer, we wanted to put together as close to the same team that did Nippon Manju as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. So we hired those songwriters and those lyric writers, the same guys who did that song in 2015, and we got them to do the first two. But then the second two were me, and um, then after that, who knows, Alan? How does it? <laughs> How does it feel uh, writing these new two songs? Is it drastically different from the other two? Is it feel um, more comfortable? How does it feel doing it yourself? Yeah, there's more responsibility. When I do it <laughs> so you enjoy not having the responsibility. <laughs> Don't we don't all love it better like, or worse? I don't want to sound like a total dropkick. I don't want to sound like I've abandoned a family or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> just left them on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> I'm curious, uh, the girls uh, that you're performing with, what is their roles inside the group with you guys? Um, uh, sing and dance and be adorable. Those are their main jobs. I think they're good at all three of those, to be honest. Oh, bless you. I think so, too. <laughs> um, they're getting increasingly adorable, actually, which is interesting because, you know, you would expect that as um, they got older, they would get, you know, increasingly, you know, more, more adult ish. <laughs> oh, I was like, <laughs> where are you going with this? <laughs> they're, getting, they're getting funnier and funnier and more and more adorable by the day. It's so funny, actually. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. Though I guess it's kind of the more we get to know each other. You got to know each other. Yeah. yeah. I was going to yeah. say you're yeah. getting to know relax. them. They're so cute, man. They're hilarious. It's, oh my God. All that, like, they, one of them just it won't stop dancing. She's either dancing or she's asleep. Those are her options. Right. So like, <laughs> we'll be, we'll be, we'll be in the office. Everyone's like tired. We finish an interview or whatever. And she like puts her phone on the thing and starts doing like her TikToks and all this. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> she's out of control. But then, but then she'll like finish that. She'll look at her phone like, ah, I'm tired. <laughs> the extremes the sounds extreme. like alan <laughs> oh she's hilarious man Would sounds like alan oh yeah alan yes, is that that's what he that is kind of alan <laughs> alan alan tell me something i don't know about japanese music please oh god um <laughs> <laughs> I told you only to ask Wave this question, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so you did set me up. Shut you up. <laughs> it's a demand, not a question. This is payback um, time, buddy. Something that you don't know about Japanese. <laughs> yeah, the demand question. That's a good one. Um, do you... I think you did say you already knew about Lonesome Blue, right? You did say you know about that no. band, so I can't use that one. Panamia? Do you know about Bandmade? Do you know about Bandmade? I've I've heard the name Bandmade once or twice. Yeah, I know Bandmade. I did a show with him like my first year here a long ass time ago. Oh, cool. oh really? Yeah. Wow. Because uh, I got a feeling they had just been signed or something. We were in this uh, small little place. Legendary, but small. Small little venue in Shibuya. And um, I remember they were the only girls on the thing. All, everyone else was men and we were all like oh we'll have to leave the dressing room so let's go put on their maid things <laughs> <laughs> we're men huddling outside the very <laughs> small space <laughs> that's awesome nice yeah yeah i suppose that was, they formed about nine years ago yeah, yeah there you go exactly there we go they just yeah. how about this they just toured the u.s did you know about that did they really 
Yeah. They got it, videos. They did see, very well. you didn't, you didn't know that. I taught you something new. <laughs> they did very well. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. They, did they had a very, my demands. They had a very successful, <laughs> they had a very successful tour over here. I went to seven of their shows. Uh, so that was, wow. that was crazy. That was a fun adventure. Now you got to go to eight baby beer shows. <laughs> yes. Now, yeah. Now I got to go to eight baby beer shows. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ford trajectory, Alan. I expect massive Ford trajectory. <laughs> you guys, you guys need a guitar player, bass player. You know, I got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> a roadie. Maybe. A roadie. I mean, I can help you carry stuff. <laughs> Alan, if we want to hire you, but we make exorbitant demands of you on in order to have you on stage if i say um i want you to uh, uh shave your head and then dye it partly black and yellow so it's like leopard spots like uh like you're in a, a new metal bass player from the uh, early 2000s will that be acceptable mm -hmm. to you if it means i get to travel around the world yes i would do it okay. <laughs> Be a leopard head, no problem. I will be a leopard head, no problem. <laughs> that means I get to go to. Too. That means I get to go travel and tour and do all that stuff. 100% would do it. <laughs> uh, bro, it's on like Donkey Kong. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Donkey Kong is a Japanese entertainment product. This, this is true. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a good one too. <laughs> Quite well known. Let's talk Donkey Kong. Uh, <laughs> Um, he hates yeah, plumbers. Tell you what, Donkey Kong was. Um, he loved to throw barrels, didn't he? Misunderstood. That's what Donkey Kong was. Could, probably misunderstood. You reckon? How was he misunderstood? I don't understand him. But, <laughs> well, he's a big gorilla who loves throwing barrels at a, a plumber. Now I understand. Thank you. <laughs> He's not misunderstood anymore. Brian, Brian, satisfy a demand of mine. Do you want a different demand? Sure. <laughs> demand. Sure. Yes. <laughs> satisfy my prior demand, please. Oh, I thought you were going to give me a different demand. What, you want a different demand? <clears throat> Um, make it... please, uh, I'll give you a beat and please make a freestyle rap about your love of Oh my yes, god, yes, I want to hear this. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Sorry to You'll me. go back to the first demand. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, this should, this should happen. <laughs> you ready? You got five seconds thinking time and then the beat drops. Five, four, three. I think two, I know what he's going to do. One. Ryan Love a Japanese music. But here it goes. Three, four, five. No lyrics yet. What's going on? No, this is how many times the beat got to drop, man. Personal appreciation. I, I don't do that. Thank you for the for the <laughs> I fat I thought you beat, were gonna just like start. Way. I thought you were just gonna start doing Beastie Boys or something. I thought you were just gonna recite <laughs> a rhyme. Yeah. But that's. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was providing backup for Ryan. I wanted to hear Ryan's rapping. You were doing really. Uh, I think well. we all wanted <laughs> yeah, to hear Ryan's all, rapping. Yeah, right we there. were all waiting. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Ryan Mir rap album now. That's uh, all I can think about. <laughs> <laughs> all of the beats provided by Lady by uh, <laughs> yeah. Lady Beard in the background. Oh my God, because Lady just, Beard. No actual instruments, just the mouth sounds of Lady Beard. <laughs> to dig up some some old song SoundCloud bites out there that would probably suffice that nobody wants to hear it. Uh, I want to hear it. Guys, you guys make reaction videos to the Ryan rapping video. Oh my God, yes. yeah. Perfect. And we would. We would. We we'll break it down. We'll get really deep into it. The. Yes technicalities of the rap the ryan's rapping reaction um those are three words that start with the letter r similar to that recent bollywood film triple r mm. there yeah ryan congratulations ryan hey thank you very much this is so out of please control. watch my film uh, watch my bollywood film and yes. uh, yeah, learn about hip hop through the eyes of a, a gaijin rapper. That's a great idea. Have you guys have you guys looked into Japanese hip hop at all? No, uh, I have no, not. Actually. Could you I haven't heard any, any of it. Other There's than what? Reacting to some Japanese hip hop because um, hip hop is a medium which I think works quite well with the Japanese language. Yeah, I I would agree. Yeah. Huh. 
it does it does uh, i mean it shows up in nemo field even shows up a little bit in in bandmade sometimes the the rhythmic the feel of it it works pretty well sure. yeah nice. do you have so a I, band i can see that do you have a band you're listening yeah, to from japan right now um uh i'm gonna forget their entire name no i'm not hanabie i started listening to them quite awesome. recently oh. to them. You know them? yep I, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised that you like them yeah, they're yeah. they're I'm, very cool <laughs> I so I did uh, I featured on a song recently of this young man named Jasper, who uh, was uh, very kind to me, and he's um uh, he's Canadian Japanese, and he's a TikTok celebrity here, and so he did a song, and I featured on his song, and it was hilarious, and the young man playing bass in his band um it, it introduced me to one of the humans in the band Hanabie. And then I looked up that particular human band and I said, I'm a big fan of this human band. And so now I'm listening to Hanabia. Mm. Nice. nice. You, you made a good choice. I think they're one of the coolest new up and coming bands that are out there right now. Yeah, I think so. I think they're pretty flipping cool. Um, I've been saying this one for a while, but Devaloof, I'm big on them as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I checked out both of those. Yeah, uh, Hanabia is really good. We, uh, we, I'm sure you've heard that. The Sweets song, We Love Sweets. Amazing we love song. sweets yeah that was like yeah. the first one that we checked out <laughs> and uh we just kept going down the going down discography or, or their tracks that they have it's very good stuff all together there's one there's one there's one called something like we use dating apps too much or something like that <laughs> <laughs> no, that's her boyfriend so in the music video <laughs> that was that's like uh that's the second one i ever saw i, I did a video for and it was it was epic when I met her, she was so sweet. Turns out she's a murderer. Oh, <laughs> it is quite the twist, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we read a super chat? We haven't looked at the chat in a while. Stream Elements is still big on this chat. It's still kicking in. <laughs> Stream <laughs> Elements. By the way, guys, go check out the two music videos that Baby yes. Beard does have out right now. And... I think the question that a lot of people are going to ask, though, is do you have another music video planned? It's been a while. It's been oh! nine months. Oh! Um, Shiori has a plan. That's ah. my reaction. Oh, I feel man. like Shiori always has a plan. It seems like yeah, she's got a plan for everything. We need has a plan. Shiori's, like, you know in Inspector Gadget, there was the dude who only saw his hand going with the cat going, next time, Gadget. <laughs> yeah. Shiori's yeah. like our version of him. She's <laughs> Find everything, <laughs> pulling the strings. <laughs> should the puppet um, master? Yes. yes, she already has a plan. So you should go to the Baby Beard YouTube channel. You should press subscribe. Whilst you're there, you should also go to the Twitter, the TikTok, the Instagram, the Facebook, and the other one. Yeah, make sure you hit the bell for <laughs> yeah. notifications also so you yes. can get notified when those music videos come out because yes. sometimes subscribe doesn't work. We do have a question for you, though. No guard. Beard underscore japan that's at babybeard underscore japan let's type it in the chat for those who are audially challenged i'm not sure why you'd be listening to a podcast if you're audibly challenged but let's put it in the chat <laughs> we, we did put we uh have that pinned link at the top for y'all and then yes, i think somebody's typing uh they'll type the other chat in there for you and we have a question for you nogar says how did you celebrate twin tales day Oh, Twin Tales Day! For me, that's and just what like is that? Tuesday. I, I did see that post, but what is that? Twin Tales Day, Japan. Ah, oh, what does it? Can you explain it to me, Shiori? Because it comes from the numbers of the day and how they go together. The pronunciation. How, where do you get Twin Tail from? It. Uh, because two. Yeah. So it's twins, Twin Tails, two. Stop. We're in November. <laughs> so it's going to be 11 some what 11 22nd november 11 22 22nd yeah. hang on a minute hang on a minute maybe i'm wrong november 22 yeah 22 uh, november 20 oh just because it's two 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 the two two twos two of them twins twin tails oh uh, <laughs> what is it where does that come twins? from <laughs> what else yeah well, it's two of them alan the There's number two two twos. double one That's which That's is it. an eight check it out not one tail there's two of them Twin so tails. Does, that, does that happen every month? <laughs> like... happen every month? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Not every month, no. Yeah, but we have something every day, every 
Yeah. Every every single, every single day is up day of some kind in Japan. Especially in November. Especially in November. Why? Because of the double one? Yeah. Because oh. it's like E. So uh, e, okay. Oh. Oh. E also is pronunciation for good. You say that's the prefix that means good, something, oh. something. Whatever. In November, they put the month first in Japan, so it's E, whatever, whatever day. So, so good, something, something day. Um, Ooh. yeah, every day in Japan is a new day of some kind. It's either cat day or bikini day or throw a steak at your dad day. It's always some day. <laughs> every day, day. <laughs> um, I got a question here for you from good. He says, what is your secret to being full of energy and positive all the time? Uh, demand that the four Gaijin guys stay up late so that it's a good time for me. <laughs> and comparatively, I, I look far more energetic than them. That's, it's a psychological trick. You get, make sure people around you are tired, which makes them, brings their energy down, comparatively making See, you seem more energetic. Uh, so you, can't, you, can't, you can't do that to me, though. I can operate on tired with energy. <laughs> oh, yeah? I, I progressively get more energy as the time goes on. Yeah, it's oh, super really? annoying. Okay. Really? You've got like some hyperactivity or something, yeah? Um, when we were in the, uh, was it was New York or Boston? Boston. I can't remember where we were. Yeah. We went, we all met in person for the first time, and I, I went to the hotel. I showed up late with like 15 people with me, and these guys were in the hotel room already like dying. And I'm like, hey! Yeah, me and, and Ryan were, like, just like, we were moments oh, hell away no. from being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of like when you showed up in Zoom today. Uh, Lady Beard, and <laughs> you just brought the energy and yeah, man, that's <laughs> hey, that's Lady Beard's gimmick. But I'm similar to Kotomi in my group. I'm either at a hundred or I'm at zero. Once Lady Beard hits the wall, it's straight down. That's you just me. build up all that energy, expel it all at once, and then you have to go build it back up again, recharge <laughs> exactly. the battery. Exactly. I'm the same way. I get you. Like it's either a hundred or I'm like dead, and I don't want to. I uh, no, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> Yeah, I have to tell you, I really, I need to give Alan um, a compliment because today on this um, stream, Alan is actually doing a far better job of promoting my group than I am. Alan <laughs> keeps bringing it back to Baby Beard, keeps bringing questions about the songs, and I keep going off on tangents, totally unrelated. Alan, thank you, my friend, for doing no my job on my behalf. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Over the, over the past three years, we've done so many streams and podcasts and whatnot, and we talk about the group so much, you end up being, yeah, the group, what about this now? So you, <laughs> oh, we got to talk about geography. Come on, right, guys. Exactly. <laughs> but it's A little fun. bit of US geography. No, that's what I love about these, though, is that, yeah, I talk about the group, but yeah, we get to know you and people get to see a side like maybe they want to see before, seen before, you know? I think that's right. the well, cool part of it. Thank you, man. Thank you yeah. for having me. And also, I really appreciate you continually plugging my group throughout the interview, Alan, by the way. Thank you, man. Alan, can we have a round of applause for Alan, please, everyone? <laughs> Alan's done a great job. Alan's killing it. I was doing an excellent job today. Thank you, sir. Job, Alan. Now I feel weird. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, you know the only thing that would improve your appearance? If you shaved your head and then dyed, dyed it like leopard spots. You said that like last time. Player. Last time you told me I need to be bald. <laughs> And I was like, no. <laughs> and this time, this time you it sounds like he's spots. actually he's he's actually just doesn't like your hair, Alan. I don't think you like my hair. I think you hate my hair. Did, I, did I tell you you need to be bald yes. last time? Yeah, I'll grab the clip. I'm gonna put both these clips together. So in the first interview, you're like, hey, you ever think about going bald? Was your legit question? And, I, and then I looked at you and I was like, I like my hair. And you're like, and, you're, and then you're like, I think you should shave it. And we had a five minute conversation about me shaving my head. And maybe now, he just maybe he just says this to everybody, Alan, and he's not targeting so your hair specifically. There's three or other maybe... guys here. There's three other guys here. Like go after Ryan, you know. I I I, I really think you no. look good with a shaved head. That's what I'm saying. I now think I want to see it. You're an attractive man, and I want my. I think I think if, you, I think this if like. you were aerodynamic in the cranium department, you'd really be appealing. <laughs> He just doesn't. He just doesn't want you covering up that forehead, there, is man. That Come on, is that yeah, push the hair back. Get that. There. Get the hair band up there. Is it kind hey. of close? <laughs> hey, hey, everyone. Hey, Ryan. Please make a comment on how remarkably handsome Alan is. 
<laughs> I thought a screen froze for a second there. <laughs> Ryan <You> know, froze. <laughs> he's tall in person. Mm, this is true. Tall, dark, handsome. Uh, he's got all three. He's things. a wonderful human being. Yeah, very pro. Let's have another round of applause for Alan. Alan's the bomb. He's a very pro Alan. This is a pro Alan podcast. Oh, We've this always is been. Pro Alan podcast. Yeah. Um, we, Alan here. we did a stream from a so that that stream that we did, we we're completely tired, right? And we decided to do a podcast from a hot tub. It was, it was just a, a regular tub. tub. <laughs> it was a bathtub. Sorry, it, we're, hot tub. it turned turned very hot in that tub. <laughs> Wait just a second now. What did you just what? repeat everything you just said? I didn't come. No comprehende, sir. I got what I got to throw I got to throw you off too sometimes. Yeah, we did a Please. podcast here, in a bathtub. Here, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember doing that. A friend a friend of the show got upgraded to a presidential suite. Oh. So after the concert we went to, we all showed up to this place, and he says, "Check it out, man. There's a freaking tub." And who was it? Alan's like, we should do the podcast from there. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. Really? And it was did a top wonderful. Yeah. I, I just want to say I was not a part of this. I stayed clear <laughs> and free yeah, from the was, bathtub. It was just, just me, <laughs> Alan, and Wave in the tub. Please send, me, please send me the tub cast episode because I think I'd be quite interested in hearing what you both sound like whilst wet. <laughs> I was and, and with good guy. acoustics. Oh, well, oh, <laughs> uh, good old fair comes in with a little super chat. Just says he just wanted to say, please invite Lady Beardmore. It's always so much fun. God bless. Thank you. Who said that? Allergic? Uh, uh, oh, it was uh, is good old fear. Good old for we call good him good. Alpha. Thank good you, life. good old for bless you, good old for. No guard still in here. No guard. Picking up the pieces. What's going on, my friend? Loves it. Ryan <laughs> Mia in here. Ryan, what's going on, my friend? And old Goodal Iffer. <laughs> yeah, we call yeah, him good. Goodal Iffer. We good call him good. We, we just go good. Yeah. I appreciate you guys all staying up so um, late slash early to talk to Lady Beard. This is a good time. I'm ready to I go now. Yeah, I have energy. I, don't, I have no clue how I'm going to bed after this. I'm going to ah, I would. Already... Just keep a go out there. Which one are you in, New Jersey? No, <laughs> Delaware? Which one are you in? Bloody Oklahoma. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go <laughs> race to everyone's just house. Just keep naming states, man. We'll, we'll, we'll say yes. Many those states. <laughs> um, what, what time is it now, Ali? 3.30 in the morning? Something like 3 that? 3.30 in the morning for me. I'm ready, right, so though. Wave, Wake up and rage. Wave is like 5.30 a.m. What? I'm like, I'm it's, ready. Wake up and rage. 4.30 <laughs> for me. What time? 8.30? 4.30. 4.30. I got 5.30 over here. 5.30. 5.30. Ryan, what time you got? 5.30. Wait. I Wait. <laughs> Well, Indiana's not more that way than the fuck the one that Alan's in. That's what I thought. No, Alan's in. I'm Texas. in Pacific Standard. I'm Texas, but I'm Pacific in El Paso. Texas. I'm pretty yeah, much in New Mexico. York. <laughs> yeah, East Coast and Indiana are on the same time for some reason. Yeah, that's the weird one. New Jersey and Indiana <laughs> should not be on the time, no, same time. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> we're only, we're yeah. on the same time for like part yeah. of the year. The line literally Hang on, goes just like a this. Second now. <laughs> Lady Beards, oi, my geography is offended. What's going on now? Why are you times all, all over the, the place? Hey, uh, Lady Beard, you got to have a conversation with the god of time. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, Explain I'm this. Cool. Explain this, please. I'm going to write an angry email. <laughs> Do it. Dear god of time, please fix this. <laughs> oh, timedifferences.com please explain I gotta call Uncle Joe Biden and be like hey what's up with this yeah. Indiana and the New Jersey Joe. being at the same time well, once he's off the slopes I'll be able to have a proper chat with him <laughs> oh man oh man All right. Oh, well, I guess we should wrap it up I know you gotta get going you're a busy man better wrap it, better wrap um, it. thank you for talking it's been hilarious it's yeah, been great. It's been awesome. It's you been great. Be and everybody check out Baby Beard's Pianizer. Yes. Pianizer great song. by Baby and... Beard. And you can't get our corny to our by Baby Beard. More songs coming in the unspecified future. Go down to the internet. Baby Beard at, wait, I said it wrong. At Baby Beard <laughs> underscore Japan. Press like and follow and the other appropriate buttons on the application that you've opened at the time. And, oh. <laughs>
And watch the dance uh, practices too, because the they're the he's best part. Hey, hey, Thank no, you, no, you can't fall asleep. Get up, wake uh, up, I'm a, wake I'm up. Fall asleep. Just, just <laughs> wake up. <laughs> so many of them Whoa, now, and it's it. not. It's not. It's an application. All Get of a off the wall. <laughs> nah, it's just the the vocabulary, all this internet vocabulary with your hashtags and your algorithmic tick. Talk, click, clock. I'm so confused. By the <laughs> yeah, wake up. Wake up. I just want to make music. Listen, listen. Hey, hello. My name is Lady Beard. I am in a pop group called Baby Beard. Please go and watch our songs and clickety clack on our stuff. Thank Heck yeah. 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 Gotta, go do you, it, guys. We're going to do I it need too. To, I, need to, uh, I need to just have one more conversation before we go. Wave, tell me about your hat. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a Bob Marley hat. Is and it I actually Bob stole Marley! it. <laughs> All right, so it is. Sam's not the only one who stole his hat. This um, is this was my wife's hat, Rosie. <laughs> and then I took it. <laughs> Who's it signed by? Is it signed by Bob Marley? Oh yeah. It's actually signed by the members of the warning. Oh, uh-huh. cool. <laughs> it's a Mexican rock band. Wow. Um, is your heritage Mexican wave? No. No. Is anyone does anyone here have Mexican heritage? No, no. But my my wife's Mexican. Oh really? We, yeah, we live hey. right we live right on the border of Mexico. Like, well, we we're you, there often. Can you bust out some Espanol for me? Can you do some Espanol? You say for this us? every time. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Come on, I really like, man. I really like no, that band from San Antonio. Upon a burning body. See, I, really I just like upon a burning body, and they yeah. sing in Espanol sometimes, and oh, yeah, I um, get upset because I want to sing the lyrics of the song with them, but I can't speak the Espanol, so I, can't, I, can't I always get nervous. Uh, like, I get nervous when I'm over there. I'll do it, no problem. <laughs> no, I blow oh, really? Espanol. <laughs> Hang on. So you, you can nice speak it. Close your eyes. You're just refusing to do so. Uh, maybe you need. Maybe you need <laughs> specific It's very to broken say. up. My wife yells at me, but yeah, it's it's. It gets me around. <laughs> Wait, what, your what wife you yells at you, and that gets you around. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Driving force. What a voice powered scooter. Have you organized this? Yeah. <laughs> he married right. Let's just say that. <laughs> voice powered scooter. Oh, man. Um, thank you for explaining your hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to come ask um, I want Alan with a shaved head and busting out Espanol left and right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do nothing but Spanish on the next podcast for you, all right? The whole Perfect. time. I'll, I'll work up the Ryan's going to gonna rap. And Ryan's yes! gonna rap. Well, I prepared. Wait yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be. I can't promise a shaved head though. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't think I'll look good with a shaved head. You can ask your wife back. to shave your head for you. She'll kill She'll me. Love- I don't think she wants that either. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so handsome. She'll be like, you can't shave your head. Then you shave your head, and she'll go, oh. Mm. <laughs> well, I can see that. more of your head now. This is great. Yeah. 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 This is amazing. <laughs> Alan's not used to this much uh, attention. <laughs> oh, let's have another round of applause for Alan, ladies and gentlemen. Alan. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's done. <laughs> he was like, I'm not clapping again. All right. Uh, it's, look, it's the morning after Thanksgiving, and all through the house, four gaijin girls were stirring, gaijin guys were stirring, and uh, talking uh, to Lady Beard. Uh, <laughs> clearly you can see this is the greatest Christmas carol about Thanksgiving <laughs> I was wondering why you're doing Christmas for Thanksgiving but I liked it beautiful I think Thanksgiving <laughs> should have more a, special now Thanksgiving should have a song right they should have yeah. a song it doesn't have anything man it gets nothing except for the turkey it's got Ryan, nothing else but Ryan I want yeah. you to write a rap about Thanksgiving in oh, Japanese right. here we go like for yeah. next time no, no, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Freestyle, baby. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Oh. Lady boom, Beard. Boom, 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 boom. Ryan, gonna break yeah. down Thanksgiving. Boom, Turkey boom, in the boom, oven. Boom, yeah. Some food loving. Boom, <laughs> you're gonna be full and then it's... Stuffing. That's all I got. Boom. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I managed to rhyme on two words. <laughs> you got one. You got a rhyme beautiful. in there, man. All right. This is uh, now, Lady Beard, you got to sing a song about turkey. Okay. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, two one. one. <laughs> turkey breast. Turkey breast and leg are in the fridge. <laughs> What they stupid! The stuffing wasn't done upon the field! 
Song. Considerably yes. more effort than I, I put towards it. Was the name of that hormone? Hydrofloxaflene or something? Hypo yes, that's it. Yeah, that was it. Yes. We have our, we have yeah. our first uh, we have our we have our first American uh, turkey song song. Uh, we're, we're gonna play that every <laughs> Thanksgiving on every day. Yeah. <laughs> the new Mariah Carey right there. Head. I need one of those nose pieces the turkeys have that like flop over their cheek. <laughs> Bring your hair over and put it right across your nose. There. Let's do it, my head. <laughs> so, Lady, Lady Beard, why don't you shave your head? Oh. I would love to. No, I would. Listen, man. Hey, this, these wow, right beard. here, these beautiful things, these are the source of all my power. I'm like Samson from the Bible. Just get like the stick, like get something sticky, and you just save those off the side and just post them when you need them. You know, just slap them on and interchangeable you know between bald head and ponytails a brilliant idea i could be lady bald <laughs> wow <laughs> different Man, gimmick switch it up he'll turn invent myself then i could play bass in an early 2000s new metal band this is fantastic <laughs> <laughs> so Love it. i can't wait to be lady bald. because the bows will like cover up the attachment you know so it'll look like you just grew ponytail yeah. those on your head yeah you, you are right. <laughs> I, as I said, I can't wait to be Lady Bald. I turned to Shiori. She made this face. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't all give right. him any ideas, guys. What, Come let's, on. Let's, let's, yes. I was going to say, what does she think would um, like cause an issue with that? <laughs> what, baldness. You anti-baldness in Lady Beard form? <laughs> Or, or, or just anti baldness in general. And she said she likes me putting on pigtails. Thank you, I appreciate that. Round of applause for Shiori. Right, right. Very kind thing to say. Thank you very much. I, I, uh, I like you putting your hair in the thing that it's in now as well. <laughs> You're getting compliments in the chat of your lovely, shiny, beautiful hair. Yeah, everyone thinks you have oh, very beautiful you. hair. Bless you. Thank you very much. It's all she always compliments. Brighten up my hair. <laughs> yeah, so. oh, all right, should all we right, wrap guys. this bad boy up? All right, let's wrap yes. it up. Go to Baby Thank Beard you so much. on it's YouTube been a blast. right now. Thank you for having me. Subscribe to his channel. Yes. It's, the Thank link is much. in the chat, so you guys can go check it out right after we end this podcast. End the tap. And yep. don't forget to go and hit up the four Gaijin guys on their upcoming U.S. tour. They're mm. going to be in Baltimore. They're going to be in Nevada. They're going to be in Salt Lake City. They're coming to all the places near you. So get yourselves organized, bust out your calendar, and mark down the four Gaijin guys U.S. tour 2023. Here's looking at me. Absolutely. I'm Lady Beard. Thank you, friends in the chat. My dear friends in the Gaijin Guy Collective, thank you for your time. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, thank you. Adios, you again, everybody. Man. So much. See you. Sayonara and such. That's not a spell. All right.